just getting all my sweat. You should be a model. I should be a model. That's nice. So I am doing a cool down after my HIIT workout on the Stairmaster machine. Um, talking to me is a kid named Chris who met me a couple days before this video was recorded. Uh, he wanted help with working out, so I offered him to come do a HIIT workout with me. Fasted cardio time. It's 4 in the freaking morning, but I'm ready to kill it. Fuck yeah. Here we go. So the fasted cardio I did was called Turbo Fire. It's basically a beach body workout video that comes with a bunch of CDs and workouts um, specifically for HIIT workouts. I do these at 4 a.m. on days when I have fasted cardio before I go to the gym. Basically, um, Turbo Fire is just a bunch of plyometrics that really get your heart rate up during the higher intensity and then it follows a lower intensity cardio. Um, training with higher and lower intensities together is one of the best ways to achieve your fat loss. Um, so I'm a beach body coach so if you're interested in any videos like this or P9DX or Insanity and Shakeology protein drinks just send me a message and I can get you what you need. But basically it is a great kick ass workout. Um, obviously, um, if you can't tell, <laughs> uh, this really got me worked out, so it kicked my butt. I'm sweaty as fuck, man. Um, but anyways, you get all these DVDs, one, two, three, four, five, and then within each of them are different workouts, so, um, on mine, on just one CD, I could have taken, done a hit 15 class, hit 20 class. Hit 25 class and then a stretch time class. That was my fasted cardio this morning. And now I am about to hit the gym after I make my Hulk pancakes and my pre workout and BCAAs and all that shit. And then after that, I have some more hit to do on the treadmill, but I think I'm going to do it on the stairs master since I said last night that I feel like I got a better workout on the stair master and I push myself harder. I don't know, I just, I just don't like running, and for people who don't like running, do this. This is killer. So I just had a really long day that day, and I ended up taking a really nice bath with some incense, and it was heavenly as hell. The next day, I was off of work, so my neighbor and I went on a hike, uh, which ended up being a really bad idea because I had just had my leg day, plyos, hit, and fasted cardio the day before, which you saw. Um, so we ended up going to the beach instead, which was really fun. It was really, really pretty, and we got to see these seals and sea lions. So a lot of you ask, how do I have the motivation to work out all the time, and how do I push myself to work hard? And, like, what, what's in me that makes me want to work as hard as I do? And it's just my goals. Like, literally, there are days, actually most days now, since I'm so exhausted, that I don't want to fucking get up at 4 in the morning and work out. I don't want to work out twice a day. I don't want to do fasted cardio. I don't want to, I don't want to wait two and a half hours for my next meal. I want to freaking eat 24-7. Like, I am not. It's not, it's not like, oh, let's go work out all the time. Like, it's, I love fitness. I love it so much. But there are days when I don't want to. And what makes me do it is my goals. Like, if you have goals and you want something, you get it. It's hard work. And hard work isn't easy. And when things aren't easy for us, we tend to not like to do it as much. Or we tend to um, not want to push ourselves as hard because it's hard hard like that's just how it is and if you can't push yourself to do hard work whether it's with fitness whether it's with whatever goals you have in life then you're not going to get it so push yourselves hard for whatever you're doing whether it's fitness or whatever if you have goals and they're worth it to you you're going to get them it's hard work though it's hard and it's gonna be um sucking out your energy and stuff but yeah I'm not like yay let's work out let's do this let's kill this workout I mean I am like that a lot of the times but like right now I don't want to get my ass up and 
go work out after being up at 4 a.m. You know, like, I half my day is spent in the gym, and then the rest of my day is working, doing stuff with clients and stuff like that. And it's like, it takes out your energy. It does. But is it worth it to you? And if it's worth it to you, then why ask why ask how I'm so motivated to do it? It's just worth it. So that's all I have to say about that. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not like I look at quotes, <laughs> although I do have my qu my quotes on my wall with my um. I'll just show you. It's so cute with my countdown of days. But like honestly. It's just that it's worth it to me. So whatever's worth it to you, you'll do. And it won't be a question in your mind why you're doing it. Because you're doing it. Because you want to do it. You know what I mean? I don't know how else to explain it. Um, so yeah, that's my answer to those questions. Uh, yeah. Stay motivated and stay positive And work your ass off and you'll get what you want. Thanks, bye. Last night, I made sweet potato fries. Or chips or whatever. They are hella bomb. Ground cinnamon with sweet potato fucking fries. I am in heaven right now. This is amazing. So Friday, I sent my progress pictures into my coach, and I was super pleased with them, so I decided to share with you all. And then I also made a plate of veggies in the color of a rainbow. <laughs> so I was excited about that. And then the next day on Saturday, I was eating my meal prep at the hair salon. I got my hair dyed red. And I also made egg muffins prepped for a few days after that. So those are really delicious. On Sunday, it was Easter, and it was really hard for me not to want to eat candy. So uh, I just carried around my Easter-flavored gum and went to the gym. Okay, so a quick little tip of the day, or more like a question to ask yourself. If you feel like bad things are always happening to you, um, just ask yourself, what kind of messages are you sending out? Are you sending out positive vibes or good vibes? Um, good energy, bad energy, because the universe works in such a weird way that the energy and the vibes you send out are what you are going to attract. And a lot of people disagree with that, but the people who disagree with that are the ones who are negative, sending out bad energy. You might think, I am such a positive, happy person, but what are you posting on Facebook? What are you posting on Twitter? What are you posting on Snapchat? Are you complaining all the time? Or are you sending out positive, happy messages? Because if you send out positive, happy messages, you're going to attract positive, happy people. If you post negative posts on Facebook, complaining all the time about things, you're going to attract people who complain all the time. Because people who are negative almost stick together. People who are positive kind of stick together because they have the same kind of mindset. So change your mindset. Change the way you think. Change the way you do things. Change the energy you're sending out. And you are going to change your life. Like, just try it. And if not, then if you don't want to try it and you just want to continue complaining and asking what's wrong with the world and why do bad things happen to you, then continue doing that. Do your thing. But if you want to change your life and change the way things, the things that happen to you, then that's all you got to do.